property is about a 5 hour drive from Bangalore and the roads keep getting narrower and the views more beautiful the closer you get to the property. Rishav Agarwal. The property is so magical that the moment you enter it, you immediately feel a change within yourself. In fact, I got so carried away that I forgot to keep shooting and I had to come back sometime later to shoot it again, but by then it had started raining. Anyways, this is the entrance to the reception where you get your welcome drink. I've shamelessly used a clip from Evolve Back's official channel to show you what it looked like. As you can see, every single thing is extremely well done and is as per Kodagu architecture. The paintings on the wall are of the Ramapuram family who are the big daddies of Evolve Back and own thousands of acres of coffee estates around. A lot of receptions when you enter, um, you feel very overwhelmed, they are so huge. Uh, this feels much more uh, like uh, a very very welcoming, very inviting space and the lighting is also very gentle, very beautiful. These are the buggies that normally whisk you around the property and they are at your beck and call whenever you want them, just give a call to a number. Once you're done with your check-in, your luggage is loaded on the buggy and off you go to your villa. So, uh, Shilpa, this is Shilpa. She was a go-to person throughout our stay and took extremely good care of us. If we ever requested her something, for example, Shilpa, can you please book us a nice dinner for today? Before we knew it, she came back with... My dinner I have booked in a papacorn restaurant. Perfect. So, you can go to the papacorn. Thank you. And before we knew it, we reached our villa. <laughs> the series of villas uh, on this side of the property are the heritage pool villas. They are facing the lake. As you can see, it's a very, very beautiful villa. The architecture is very typical of Kodawa architecture, which was the traditional architecture of Kodagu people. The two pillars that you see in the front is a very typical uh, entrance. The very tasteful door that's made of solid wood. And let me show you what's inside. The moment you enter the villa, you are first greeted by a central courtyard or an angan which is still very common throughout homes in India. To the left of the courtyard, you have a huge drawing slash dining slash living area that contains ample sitting space, a TV, an electric kettle and plenty of fruits that are refilled twice every day by the housekeeping. By the way, the room cleaning staff come not just once but twice every day to make sure everything is tipped off. This is what their housekeeping got me when I asked them for a bottle of coke. By the way, you are allowed to bring your own booze to the property as long as you consume it within the villa. And you should definitely think of getting it because A, their bar was closed when we visited and is probably still closed and B, it's much cheaper and you get exactly what you want. The Wi-Fi was good enough for Zoom calls and should serve all of your work from home needs. They've also added a dressing table here in case you're too tired appreciating everything around you and want to do a little self-appreciation. The bedroom, which is to the right of the courtyard, has a rustic vibe and is quite cozy. The bed is king sized and will probably remind you of your grandparents' old beds with the four posts around it for a mosquito net or a macheri as we call it in Hindi. The mattress was honestly a bit too soft for me and unfortunately I couldn't change it because they didn't have the option. If they do provide harder mattresses, it might help some of the IT folks with back pain coming in from Bangalore. Beside the bed, you have another dressing table for some more self-admiration. Opposite the bed, you have a cabinet, a luggage stand and a bathroom. The cabinet has a safe, additional pillows, towels, bathrobes and complimentary slippers. The bathroom, although really beautiful, could have definitely been bigger, at least around the bathtub, which honestly feels a bit neglected to the side. The toiletries smelled amazing and are neatly arranged on the side table. They have a special box for toilet papers which I found quite cute and the towels are kept on the rack above. But the best part about the bathroom is this opening that lets nature in and makes it so much more beautiful. In case it's raining outside, which it most certainly will, you can have a most surreal hot shower experience with the rain falling right in front of you. What's even better is that this gate opens out directly to your private pool and you don't have to worry about getting dirt and water all over your villa. And that brings me to the most amazing part of the villa, the private pool. <laughs> The pool is 
absolutely huge. In fact, many residential society pools are smaller than this. It is also completely temperature controlled and the water here is so clean that you can see a person swim towards you from the other end of the pool. The temperature control is without a doubt the most critical part of the pool because it keeps the water at a very pleasant 27 degrees all the time which is perfect to enjoy. Without that, although you would have a pool but you would not really use it because it gets very cold when it rains in Coorg. And cold water is not good at all. Remember what happened to Jack? Jack. Therefore, the temperature control in my opinion is a must have and although all 63 villas offer you a private pool, only two room categories, the heritage pool villa and the lily pool villa offer temperature control. Here's what you'll get in each of the four different categories of villas. The water here in your private pool is very very gentle on your skin, there's no itching, there's no rashes. Absolutely nothing, even after spending hours in the water. I cannot even begin to describe how amazing it felt to be immersed in this kind of water without a care in the world. What really takes it to the next level is that this pool also has a jacuzzi-like bubble area which provides a very relaxing massage. After about 15 minutes of struggle, I finally discovered the exact spot that made me very happy. This is a very nice spot for a jacuzzi. Now one of the biggest concerns with having your own pools, especially for couples, is that of privacy. But that's where Evolve Back shines as all of its villas have close to 100% privacy. Ours was a heritage pool villa with a lake view, which compared to other villas gave us less privacy. But we still chose it because we absolutely loved its location. For 100% privacy, you should choose the plantation view villas, where instead of these bushes to the front, you have dense plantation trees that grow all the way up to the top. It looks something like this. And combined with these mud walls to your left and right and the villa to your back, you can relax without any disturbance or worry. However, you will have surprise checks by these guys who come to collect their dues. The backyard also has tons of space to laze around. There are a pair of recliners in front of both bedroom and the living room, which is a perfect setup for book lovers like myself. Just by the poolside, you have these extremely comfortable sun loungers. And in case you want to enjoy the rain while sipping hot coffee, it couldn't get any better than this. Needless to say, this backyard pool area was where we spent most of our time in the resort. We would often sit outside admiring the play of nature, wondering how amazing it would be to come back here sometime. Sometimes the peace was so overpowering that it made me do random things like this. And in the evenings, the animals put up such a spectacular orchestra that you had to listen in amazement. But only when it starts raining can you truly appreciate the beauty of Kurk. So I'll shut up for a while and let you enjoy the rain. Honestly, it feels much better with a mystical piano background, so let me add one for you. Whenever we were not chilling in the villas, we were eating in one of the restaurants. The first and the main restaurant is the granary that serves you everything. Breakfast, lunch and dinner. And the minute you enter the restaurant, the sights and sounds and smells of this beautiful life kitchen to the right immediately kickstarts a massive fire in your belly. You are then greeted and taken to a seat of your choosing. We usually chose a seat right next to the window because of the fantastic paddy field and plantation views. You can also see the common swimming pool outside, but of course it was closed due to COVID. You only need to wait for a couple of minutes before the service staff start attending to your table and I must add that they were quite prompt with all our requests. Because of Covid precautions, they didn't have an open buffet but instead the staff brought us whatever we wanted from the menu. The breakfast is quite amazing, especially the dosas which I probably enjoyed more than I should have. And if you are a coffee lover like Kamakshi, prepare to be blown away. The coffee beans used are from their own plantation and the coffee is served in a traditional brass cup. Are you sure it's not sugar to make say come on? She's blissed out. You should definitely come here during off hours if you want to enjoy the beauty of this place because it gets quite crowded during meal times. In the spirit of ecotourism, which Evolve Back stands for, they've also employed a group of sparrows to help with the cleaning. And I must say that the sparrows seem quite serious about their work given the job market right now. 
The second restaurant is the Peppercorn and it's actually the most beautifully located restaurant of the property just overlooking the lake. The restaurant's deck has beautiful views of the lake and if things permit, you can also dine on this deck. But mostly the food is served there, which is the main part of the restaurant. While you are staying, only dinner was being served here because of low occupancy and it actually turned out for the best because dinners here are simply unbelievable. The restaurant only uses candles during dinner time, no electric lights and just for a moment, try to imagine yourself sitting here at night, surrounded by candlelight and the reflection of the villas and lamps on the lake in front of you. It's truly magical. The restaurant's speciality is Mughlai and North Indian dishes and believe me when I say, everything was finger licking good. The kebabs tasted great and the tandoori chicken did not disappoint at all. Our absolute favourites were the dal makhani which is cooked overnight and tasted heavenly. The staff insisted we order the sizzler and we were so glad they did. It turned out to be so good that we ended up ordering it again the next day. And what's a good dinner that doesn't end with a hot chocolate fudge that sizzles more than a sizzler? By the time we were done with our dinner, all that was left to do was to wonder if it could get any better. So this is the third restaurant that they have. Uh, it's called the Plantain Leaf. Unfortunately, it was closed uh, when we were here, but uh, it serves you breakfast, lunch and dinner, just like the granary. And uh, they say it's just as good. So you will have to find that out yourself. On one particular day, when we were feeling extra lazy, we requested the team if they could send lunch to our room. And here's what we got. This is skewered vegetables with rice and mashed potatoes. This is roast chicken. This is the dessert. Apple pie. I think there's akki roti in this. Uh, there's some kind of a roti in this. This is mutton sukka. This is another curry. This is the bamboo curry, which is a speciality of Evolve Back. This is steamed rice. This is pili dal, this is the aluki sabzi, um, the spaghetti arabiata. I have to say it was quite good. Mm -hmm. There's also a fourth restaurant which honeymooners and couples who believe in maximum romance will definitely love. It's a raised deck restaurant uh, in the middle of nowhere and it has a seating capacity for only one couple at a time. Obviously there's an extra charge associated to it. We didn't try it but you should because it looks like a very unique uh, experience. By the way, Korg is famous for its non-veg preparations and the restaurants do it really well here. So if you have a no non-veg kind of thing going on you can drop it for a couple of days after eating all that amazing food and chilling in the villa you might want to burn off a few calories here and there they have tons of uh, activities in the resort for almost each age group in addition to bird watching cycling and coracle rides on the kaviri river you can go to the compound where the library gift shop and activity room with games like tt carom and chess are located the library has one of the best views that you can expect in a library However, it was quite lacking in books. In case you're a shopaholic or just want to buy Evolve Bags coffee or fragrances for your family and friends, then the gift shop has you covered. Just beside the gift shop, you'll find a daily schedule of activities that you can engage in. In case you want to learn more about coffee, there's a dedicated space where they show you the entire process from seed to finish. And after drinking some good coffee, you can bask in the shade of a tree that was planted by none other than saliva. We are actually standing on uh, hallowed grounds and the reason for that is uh, this. I can feel his aura still pervading the space. For nature and outdoor lovers, the list is simply endless. Their nursery and nature shop are a paradise for gardening lovers. You can go on long walks on one of their many many well-maintained trails that have a wide variety of trees and plants. One of the paths even has a lake on one side and a paddy field on the other and very few properties in the world can claim to have that. Our walks were often interrupted by sounds of these buggies and they were a welcome sight whenever we were tired. So we're currently heading to our room and uh, riding these buggies are actually one of, one of the most uh, fun things to do. They're completely eco-friendly. I hope their uh, electricity is coming from a solar power plant. I think it is coming from one of their windmills that they own. So it's all renewable energy. But the one experience that I really recommend, despite the extra cost, is the Plantation Jeep Trail. It's a two to three hour long experience where you indulge in a most scenic Jeep ride. Enjoy 360 degree views of the coffee estate, which is one of the oldest in Kurk. And learn interesting tidbits like something like a deep, you know, this mm. is actually called elephant proof trench. If the trench is not there, directly elephants they come to our plantation. Mm -hmm. okay. Especially this season, they are coming because jackfruit season. Oh. They can smell jackfruits from kilometers distance. This is second hottest still in India. Monkeys. <laughs> this is happening with a rain. Single drop water is enough to pollinate this catkin. 
Oh, wow. You know, wherever rainfall is good, there you will see pepper plantations. Kerala, best example. That is why our coffee we are using 80 Arabica 20 Robusta. Coffee bean. Toward the end of this experience, they gave us a really nice surprise, which made us go, Wow, Modi ji, wow. Wow, wow. But I won't reveal it here because I don't want to spoil the surprise of others and you can enjoy it for yourself. You can also spend time on the lakeside deck pretending to feed the fishes when all you really want to do is see them fight. Lord of the Rings has just started over here. Their bar, which is aptly named the Hunter's Lodge and the Ayurvedic Spa were unfortunately closed. So definitely get your own drinks and some Volini. With the Volbax philosophy of sustainable tourism, they have their own water recycling plant, uh, use their own RO systems for drinking water in the rooms and generally refrain from using plastics wherever possible. The property has to be one of the most well-designed and well-maintained properties in India. You love walking around the property despite the fact that it's located in a hilly region because it's landscaped in such a way that there are no steep inclines anywhere. And and unlike a lot of other big properties where the layouts are so complex that even after staying for four or five days you keep getting lost all the time the layout here is so simple that you can understand it in just five seconds let me prove it to you okay start the timer draw a twisted number nine like so that's the main artery of the resort around which the entire resort is structured now add some hair like things to this number nine these are the sub arteries or sub paths that connect to the main artery here's your reception here's the lake here are the paddy fields and the organic farm along with the nursery the lakeview heritage villas are over here and we are also somewhere here this is where your other villas and buildings are located here are your restaurants and this entire 35 acre resort compound is about 10% of the whole estate. Towards the left here, you have the remaining 265 acres that form the remaining part of the estate. And here's a comparison with the actual resort map. And did I say 5 seconds? I actually meant 25 seconds. And despite being in one of the wettest regions in the world, there was absolutely zero seepage in any of the walls. In fact, the woodwork too was looking brand new. And of course, the private pool and the water in it was maintained beyond expectation. Here is a video from Taj Bekal's private pool, which is one of uh, Taj's uh, flagship properties in Kerala with almost equivalent rates. Now, I'm not saying that Taj does a bad job at it. In fact, uh, many of Taj's properties have pools which have exceptionally good water. All I'm saying is that it gets difficult even for brands like Taj to maintain water quality at this level. And they pamper you with so much attention right from the time you check in that it becomes extremely hard for you to check out the last right please this buggy like the right to I need to sanitize my hands. <laughs> now, Evolve Bike is definitely not exuberant or lavish in the modern sense. For example, you won't find uh, international cuisines such as Thai or Japanese being served here. And you can stay at much more opulent looking properties in the cities for almost one third the price. But where Evolve Bike's uh, strength truly lies is in conveying the culture and richness of its land with exceptional authenticity. Now, Kurg is really known for its coffee plantations. Uh, it's world-class hospitality, it's architecture that blends with nature and uh, it's food. And Evolve Pack delivers on all of that better than anybody else. And for that reason, I would say it's well worth the price that they're charging you. If you're a couple, a honeymooner or just want to disconnect from your private life and enjoy a retreat uh, with your family and friends, definitely try coming here and you'll not regret it. Any time in the year is good enough uh, because the weather is good throughout. But uh, July to September when it's rainy in Kur is when nature really turns up the magic. Growing up, Malguri Days used to be one of my favorite shows because of uh, how simple that world seemed. And uh, there was such joy uh, around in the atmosphere, the village setting. And I always imagined what it would be like to ever live in a place like this. Somehow, uh, Evolve Back allowed me a taste of that childhood fantasy and transported me back in time. And for that, I am uh, extremely grateful to that team. I hope you liked the video and thank you so much for watching it till here. I'm Rishabh Agarwal and I love making such videos uh, around my experiences, my experiments with as much detail, humor and accuracy as possible. So do let me know uh, what your thoughts are. Hopefully you like more things in the video than you didn't like and we'll meet again in my next video and until then, if you liked the video, please kill your hands.